There will be many of you who have bought a new laptop and computer. And when you open the computer, you see only a single drive in this PC. So you must be having a problem in keeping so many documents. Having a single partition C drive in your PC can be dangerous. Because whenever your Windows gets corrupted and you have to format the hard disk, then all your data gets formatted with it. To avoid such a problem with you. So in today's video, we are going to make a new partition of Windows 10 hard drive. And if you have two partitions, but your C drive is completely full and one partition is completely empty, then how can you create space in drive C by using the space of that partition? We will also see this in this video. So stay tuned. Till the end of the video we will move forward in the video step by step. So watch the video completely without skipping. If you miss even a single step then you may fail to partition the drive. Let's start the video. Hello friends, welcome to this tech getter. Hope you all are well. Let's come to our PC screen. Here, I am going to type File Explorer in the search bar. Now let's open it and click on this PC on the left side. Here you will see a single C drive. There is no other partition here and some data is stored in this drive. If this drive gets completely full, we will need more space to store data. That is why we are going to create another drive like this drive here. So that we can free up storage on the C drive. So look at these steps carefully. First of all, we have to open the run command of Windows. After this, type diskmemp.msc in the command section and click on OK. You will see a window like this, which is disk management. Here you will see system reserved, C drive, and healthy recovery partition. Here we will not do anything with the system reserved and healthy recovery partition. Just have to select the largest drive C. Here you will see C, disk, and system reserved on the top. Now just right click on C and click on shrink volume. As soon as I click on shrink volume you will see on the screen that shrink starts squaring the space. Here it takes some time to square the shrinking space so don't think it is stuck just wait for 2-3 to three minutes. After this, you will see a dialog box on your screen where total size before shrink was this and size available for shrink means this size is available now. Apart from this, we cannot touch any extra size, so the data here is around 59,000 megabytes. To convert this much MB data into GB we are opening the calculator here. As you know 1 gigabyte is equal to 1024 megabytes. So if we divide 59,000 by 1024, we get around 57 gigabyte space. Now suppose I need 5 gigabytes extra space here so I have to create a partition. So to create a 5 gigabytes partition I will multiply it by 1024. And I will get 5120 megabytes which we will round off and write 5000 here. So here I am typing 5000 and now I will click on shrink. After clicking on shrink, it will take some time which depends on the speed of your hard drive. After waiting for some time, you will see the fourth option. Whereas earlier we had only three options. The fourth option that we have just created will appear as unallocated to us right now. To create a partition we will right click on this fourth option and click on new simple volume and you will see a new wizard on the screen. This wizard helps you to create a simple volume on your disk. A simple volume can be on only one disk so we will click on next. We don't have to do anything on the next screen so we will leave it as it is by default and move ahead. On the next screen we have to assign a letter here I will assign D and click on next. On the next screen we have to format it. To format it we have to make sure NTFS is selected here. If in your computer it is FAT32 selected, then make sure you select New Technology File System and NTFS. Leave the allocation unit size as default. Leave the volume label as it is, and click Next, and then click Finish. Once you click on Finish, you will see that a new volume has been created. Now we will close this window and go to File Explorer. On clicking on this PC, we will see a new drive. In this way, you can create a partition drive in your new PC or laptop. Hope this video is useful for you, so please tell us by commenting. We will come again with a new solution. You can also get information about fixing 100% disk usage in Windows 10 in another video, the link of which is given in the description box. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe and click on the bell icon. Have a nice day.